Hi, my name is Nicholas Cook. In this video, I will go over the step-by-step -step process of how to make your own ammo. This is a dangerous process and requires a lot of attention. This process is time-consuming, but makes for great precision therapy, a time where you can just forget about the rest of the world and focus on this one task at hand. It is also a great way to save some money if you tend to find yourself at the range often. Like I said, it is dangerous, not only from the amount of gunpowder, but also if you're not accurate down to one thousandth of an inch when seeding the bullet, it either may not chamber or it could get jammed in the barrel. So please pay attention to what you are doing. Have your own knowledge and research on the ammo beforehand. But on that note, let's get started. Once you have your shells, your primers, your gunpowder, the bullets, and your press, the first step to begin is by cleaning the brass. Now that our brass is clean, we can move over to the reloading press. Here I have set up the Lee Auto Turret Press. I have three die, the carbide sizing die, which also deprimes it, powder measure die, and the bullet seat and feed die. So we start off by depriming it and getting that old primer out. Before you raise the handle, we got to make sure to reprime it with a new primer. When you raise the handle back up, make sure you give it a little extra press to make sure that it's seated and they're good. Next is the gunpowder. How much gunpowder do I put in? Well, lucky for me, my setup, the Lee Art Auto Turret, came with little pucks to predetermine the amount of gunpowder to go into each shell. So with a little bit of research and taking the gunpowder that I picked out, I was able to find the caliber, 40 Smith & Wesson, federal casing, I use 100 gr grain bullets, and we need charge weight of 6.5 grams. So based off on that research, I can go to this chart that came with the press, go down to find unique, over to 6.5 grams, right there which means I use number 71. Now I already have it set up, but as you can see, they're already pre-marked with numbers. With the pre-measured loading disc. And finally, seat the bullet. And that is how you reload 40 Smith & Wesson 